Hi there, and welcome to the Kids Art Projects 101 YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Medico, and I am an art teacher at an awesome elementary school near Orlando, Florida. I am so happy that you're here. The content you're about to watch is from our series of short, kid-friendly videos about famous artists. Are you ready to try one now? Let's do it. This is Pablo Picasso. He's not alive anymore, but he and his artworks are very famous. This is one of his most famous paintings. What do you think about this painting? What do you see? What kind of emotion do you think Picasso was trying to capture here? Picasso didn't always paint in this fragmented style. He explored many other approaches first. Art historians group his different approaches into periods. He had a realistic period, a blue period, a rose period, what is known as his African period, his analytic cubism period, his synthetic cubism period, his neoclassicism period, his surrealism period, until he finally whew, reached a period simply called his later work. This painting is an example of his later work. His later works show characteristics from all his earlier styles. He painted many portraits in this period. A portrait is an image which represents a person, a group of people, or even an animal. Many of these portraits include heavy black outlines, fragmented shapes, bright colors, and bold patterns. What do you notice about the eyes in these portraits? How about the noses? What is on their heads? Do you notice anything else? Take a look at these. What kind of observations can you make about the colors you see? Would you call these realistic colors? Do you see patterns? What kinds? Picasso's colors are as bold as his shapes and lines. His expressive color choices are a big part of what make his artworks so eye-catching. Pablo Picasso's innovative ideas had a very big impact on artists around the world. He is considered one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. That's it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something new. Teachers, build off this specific video with the Open and Go art unit I use in my classroom.